What's up video creator? The other day I have uploaded a tutorial about pixelating faces in Premiere Pro and a follow-up question that I get a lot is, hey, how do I get those pixels to be perfectly square? Now I'm going to show this process in Premiere Pro and in After Effects and there's many tutorials out there right from the get-go suggesting to use After Effects and use an expression to get it perfectly square. And if you know me, if you know this channel, that's not necessary. There's a much easier way to do it. And I'm gonna show you now how to do that. We're in our timeline here, and this is a 16 by nine full HD sequence within Premiere Pro. Now, again, if you're coming from After Effects, you're in the right place because the mosaic effect works exactly the same in After Effects as it does in Premiere Pro. So this is exactly the same process in both programs, okay? So I'm gonna bring in a, an image. And this image is actually way bigger than the sequence. I purposely selected this image right here because it demonstrates actually the core concept of this process. Now, this is a way bigger image. It's, of course, it could be a video clip or anything else. And when we go to the um, effect controls, let's scale it down a little bit, maybe like this. Okay, 30 will do. <laughs> and we're here. And now we want to pixelate this. So we have a, an adjustment layer, put it on top, and now we're gonna use our mosaic effect. I've got it selected here already. Apply that to the adjustment layer. Now it's pixelating. Now watch this. When you look at the pixels, they have this strange wide aspect ratio. And that's exactly the same aspect ratio as the sequence that contains this effect. Okay, and that's important here. This sequence, has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. So you would think, initially you would think, when you go to the effect controls, when the horizontal blocks, these are the settings from the mosaic effect, when the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks are the same number, it should be square, right? No, that's wrong, because it's actually separating this in 10 blocks over the width of the sequence and 10 blocks over the height of the sequence, which actually is the aspect ratio of this sequence. So what does that mean? We only, we just have to put the blocks in the horizontal and vertical blocks into the same ratio as the sequence. That's 16 by nine, because most, in most cases, you're probably going to work with 16 by nine aspect ratios. We're gonna take a look at square videos in a second, but for now, let's put this to 16, then put the vertical blocks to nine, and now when you look at it, it's perfectly square pixels. Simple as that. No After Effects, no expressions. If you are in After Effects, just this very simple concept. Take the aspect ratio of your sequence or composition when you're in After Effects into account. Very simple, okay? Which is 16 by nine. Now, I hear you're saying, oh, wait a minute, these pixels are way too big. Okay, then do the math and multiply by 10, 160 by 90. Okay, and then, okay, now they're too small. Okay, divide it by two. I mean, I'm assuming you know basic math. <laughs> basic math. That's probably the size that you would work with. And then when we mask this, put it on his face, boom, there you go. You have your perfectly square pixels. Really, you don't have to overcomplicate things. You don't have to use After Effects. And even if you're an After Effects, you don't have to use expressions. Just think about it a little bit and it will it will all work out perfectly, okay? Now I hear you asking, what about square videos? Wait a second, go to the project. Now let's duplicate this. Duplicate, give it a name because we wanna have it all nice and tidy. And when we double click this, we're in our new sequence. And now let's change the aspect ratio or the sequence settings custom and now set it to 1080 by 1080. Let's assume you want this, you want to post this on social media, okay? And now watch this. When we put this on 150, you see, oh, wait a second. It's not square anymore. Yeah, because we duplicated this and in the effect controls, these, this number, remember it has to respect the aspect ratio of the containing sequence. Now that this sequence is square, this aspect ratio of, of the horizontal and vertical blocks has to be square as well. So let's change this horizontal value to 45. So both are 45 by 45 and watch what happens. You've got your square pixels again. Really simple to do. So 
To sum it up, it doesn't depend on the footage, it depends on the aspect ratio of the sequence in Premiere Pro or the aspect ratio of the composition in After Effects and then take it from there, okay? And as you've seen, you can actually do the math a little bit and when you have a 16 by nine ratio, then it's 160 by 90 or 80 by 45 if you want to adjust the size of those pixels. And that way you can create those square pixels without messing with expressions or anything else really you don't have to it's much easier than that in case of a 16 by 9 sequence it's just a multiple of 16 by 9 in this case i've selected 80 by 45 and a square sequence both numbers of course since it's square one by one both numbers can be the same even if you have another aspect ratio let's say you're doing three by four for Facebook or LinkedIn or something, then it's the same concept. The horizontal and vertical ratio has to be a multiple of three by four. Super easy to do, okay? So that's how you actually make sure these pixels when you're using the mosaic effect to pixelate faces or plates on cars to make sure the pixels are square. Really easy to do, all right? So that's the square pixel technique when using the mosaic effect in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Remember, this effect is exactly the same in both programs. So if you learned something new and appreciate this tutorial, please consider hitting the like button, which is going to help me promoting this channel. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.